China's first spacewalk hides a dark secret. China's space ambitions are a global threat. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. China made history this week with its first ever spacewalk. Hundreds of miles above Earth, China made history on Sunday with the first spacewalk outside its Tiangong station. He and two other astronauts are on the first of four high-stakes missions to complete China's space station by the end of 2022. And the space station, Tiangong, which means heavenly palace, is just the beginning of China's ambitious space program. In just the past seven months, China has put a rover on the moon and one on Mars, becoming the second country in history after the U.S. to land a rover on the red planet. They also plan to send humans to the moon in the 2030s. So these Chinese astronauts must have some really inspiring words for mankind. We will obey orders and instructions and keep calm while meticulously carrying out the mission. One small step for man, one giant leap for Big Brother. You see, China's space program has a dark secret. It's not run by a civilian agency the way NASA is. China's space program is run by the People's Liberation Army, which is the armed wing of the Chinese Communist Party. Yes, in communist China, the army belongs to the Communist Party, not the government. Speaking of belonging to the Communist Party, all three astronauts are party members. And they and other space officials repeatedly credited Xi Jinping, or the party for the country's feats in space. And if you've seen the recent celebrations for the Chinese Communist Party's 100-year anniversary, that kind of cult-like worship should have you pretty worried, especially because China is rapidly looking to replace the U.S. in space. Without new funding, the ISS could be decommissioned in 2024 which means the Tiangong could be the only space station left in Earth's orbit. Foreign astronauts are certainly going to enter the Chinese space station one day. There are a number of countries that have expressed a desire to do that. If the Chinese Communist Party is able to control access to space, that means China could cut off access to any nation that's unwilling to do this. According to U.S. intelligence, China is already building space weapons to blind U.S. satellites. Say goodbye to your GPS. That would be devastating for the U.S. military. And for me, when I try to use Google Maps to navigate to the nearest Cracker Barrel. The Chinese Communist Party has an iron grip on science in China. If you have any questions about that, just look into how the Communist Party has silenced scientists who don't tow the party line on the coronavirus. But here's a more recent example. A Communist Party official connected to the state-owned China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation allegedly attacked two prominent space scientists, including an 85-year-old woman. Funny, because Xi Jinping has been saying how much the party supports scientists. Because science is the main battleground with the West. But it's the party and politics that really rule China. The party secretary attacked the two scientists after they refused his request to be recommended for membership of the International Academy of Astronautics. And by attacked, I mean he broke the spine of an 85-year-old woman. But it's not just that a party secretary attacked Chinese scientists. It's that this happened in early June, and the party covered it up for weeks. And many Chinese netizens were curious why it took so long for the story to come to light, and why the party secretary hadn't suffered any consequences. Well, I can tell you, the party was gearing up for its 100th anniversary and the spacewalk, and didn't want people to know. After a huge public backlash, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation finally put out a brief statement saying the party secretary was drinking at the time and now he's been suspended. But you can see why the Communist Party is so interested in space. In space, no one can hear the people scream. 
And now it's time for me to answer a question from a member of the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. Fans who support us and our efforts to expose the truth about the Chinese Communist Party by contributing through the crowdfunding website Patreon. Ian Jackson asks, Chris, is there room here for your channel to do a one-hour timeline documentary on the origins of this, starting 2009 up to 2020? Do it as a proper doco, not just a news item. At the very least, it will really annoy the CCP. Now, Ian is talking about the origins of the coronavirus. This is actually something we've been thinking about. Not quite a full documentary, but an explainer that breaks down everything we know about the Wuhan Institute of Virology, their coronavirus research, especially with human-animal chimeras, U.S. funding for the lab, and the timeline of the cover-up, both what the Chinese Communist Party did and what U.S. scientists and media did to convince Americans the lab leak hypothesis was a racist conspiracy theory. It also reminds me of another idea we had, to do more explainer episodes, like a quick rundown of historical things like the Cultural Revolution or what a Wu Mao is, things like that. So if that's something you'd be interested in watching, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your question and your support, Ian. And a big thank you to everyone who supports China Uncensored on Patreon. We could not do this show without you. So thank you for joining us in the fight to expose the Chinese Communist Party to the world. If you're interested in joining us, head over to patreon.com slash China Uncensored. You'll get a bunch of cool perks, including the chance to have me answer your question on the show. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.